Today we're looking at a 2024 Outdoors RV, Glacier Peak F28 RKS Mountain Series. So we'll start right here in the back. Got your fire pit. Got the propane fire pit hookup. Oh no. Is it locked? It's locked. Oh no, what are we gonna do? See, the cool thing is, I used to be a locksmith, so I have all the keys. Oh, it's the trash can. <laughs> so we'll show you on the inside, but with some dead space in the cabinetry on the inside, instead of wasting that space, they decided to put a trash can uh, port there. So huge, huge side window here. Got all outdoors RVs come with the Moride CRE 3000s. The Glacier Peaks come with the Lippert Ground Control, and these are six-point electronic leveling. Most fifth wheels of this size use the four-point, but Outdoors RV goes a step above, does the six-point. Also comes with Goodyear Endurance tires. Got the pass-through right here. Really, really good space. So it's got a table that comes with it. You have a charging port here your battery disconnect. Another neat thing about these outdoors RVs, right back here, you can get to your plumbing, you can inspect your plumbing for any leaks, make sure there's no problems there. There's another port on the other side so you can check wherever your water in that's on. At your battery bay there, you have up to 200 watts of portable solar panel hookup. You do need to have a solar charge controller hooked to those panels before plugging into that port. Fuck locked again well guess what we can use our special key there we go so this is a split so your tailgate they, the doors don't hit your tailgate really good storage size here your dumb valves are up front as weird as that sounds there's a reason for that this originally was designed to have a electronic gate valves and those electronic gate valves proved to be problematic so they got rid of the electronic gate valves at the water station. And because of where the valves are located, they had to put the handles here so that they wouldn't kick. Got the Moride rubber pin box. That's the closet slide there on a Schwinn Tech. Are you new? Yeah, I'm new. Looks like I've never done that before. <laughs> Got dual 30 pound propane tanks with auto switch over. Here's the other, and locked again. See this? Aren't you glad we brought keys? All right, so here's the other side of that pass through. I'm gonna show you this on this side. So you got your water pump here. Um, this is specific to this model, I believe, where the MKS, it's underneath the kitchen cabinets. So you got all your water, all your plumbing and everything, your shower, you can inspect it all, make sure there's no problems. Got a light up here, then you got your Lippert ground control panel right there. That's new. That's something that we don't have is a water fill on this side. Ours is on the passenger side, so we have to bring the hose around just to fill the tank. Uh, might be specific to this unit, I don't know. So very easy, got your water hookup, your sewer flush, outside shower, light here, light here, so you can see what's going on. Low drain points, of course. There's lights on there too. Yeah, very, very simple system. You don't have to worry about the O-rings or anything else like a Nautilus system like you're seeing on most units nowadays. So here is your main slide. On the main side, I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. The through frame slide out with the rack, that is heavier duty than most slide outs you see of this size. Have your fresh water dump right here. Ours is actually on the MKS on the back side. So there are some differences. Got dual pane windows. Another little thing Outdoors RV does is they put these little channels in here to help keep the water away from this one corner. This one corner, water can seep in. I mean, it's very minor, usually not a huge water leak or anything else, but they put that in as just added protection. Another thing they do on their third frames is the coil wire for your 12 volt and your 120. 
Most others use some kind of a plastic linking chain. A little bit unique for Northwoods. 50 amp service, your satellite cable hookup. Heavy, heavy duty ladder. These things are thicker than most RV ladders. Fridge port, suburban propane, water heater. And let's go take a look at the inside. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind. Trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list. It's going to be a back kitchen or a rear kitchen. We've got all this counter space. The sink is here at the back. Single basin sink with a wire rack. Cabinets here. And then you got your drawers down here, which there is four of them. And then you've got three on that side. One under the stove. And when you close these, all you have to do is push the button and it's, and it's locked into place. Underneath the sink, got a lot more storage space under here. So you're gonna notice these doors, granted, they seem a little cheap on the rollers. Um, they're pretty, just standard, nothing special. The doors themselves are solid wood. I believe they're alder because that's local to the area where they're made in Oregon and they're lighter weight than most woods. Then you got a high point microwave, vent, and then a suburban stove top oven. So what is this hole here? Remember how we were talking about the cabinet outside where there's dead space? We'll show you on the inside, but with some dead space in the cabinetry. This is the magic closet. <laughs> the magic closet. That's the garbage chute. So there is a cabinet back here as well where you can access that garbage can and a little bit more space, but the chair does block it. And then you've got your Norcold refrigerator and freezer. That's a gas electric absorption fridge. And then you've got storage up above. Well, it's a pretty good space. I mean, you need a stool, I guess, unless you're really tall. And then a nice size pantry there. Got your power center down there. These power centers do come with uh, lithium capability. All you have to do is flip a toggle switch. And then your dinette. You've got pull-out drawers on both sides. They also lock. And then if you lift up this cushion here, you can access underneath. And I'm gonna show you this. What they're doing is they're reusing the, pad, the, the exterior wall panels. So with the exterior wall panels, you have the fiberglass, the Lu, uh, Luon, you have closed cell foam, and then, Lu, and then Luon again. Um, these aren't thin paneling. So when you go to push on these, like uh, some other trailers and stuff, they are pretty stiff. But this is your exterior. This is why what they're known for is very good weatherability. So with the drawers, so that the drawers don't have to come all the way out, they only do half. So you do have some storage on the back side as well. It's gonna be the same on both sides. This dinette does fold or it does come down into a bed. Plus you've got a sleeper sofa here. On the other side, you have dual recliners with the center table. More cabinets up here. And then your entertainment center with electronic fireplace, uh, Furion stereo. They're not the best in the world. Uh, we don't even, we never use ours. Got storage on each side and up above. And there's enough room for here for a sound bar. So if you want to put like a, a Roku sound bar or something like that so you can stream stuff, put it right underneath the TV, it fits perfect. These TVs are 12 volt. So you don't need to run an inverter to watch TV. The downside to them is the sound is horrible. Got some storage up above the TV. And let's get to the bathroom. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your bathroom. You've got under the sink storage here and all your plumbing back there. That looks different than ours. Oh, they put a brass valve in. Yeah, these are better. Ours came with that plastic brass valve. That is an anti-siphon device for your black tank flush. So the plastic ones do leak over time and do emit a little bit of a smell. That brass one is a way better setup. So they realized that that was a problem and fixed it. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind. Trying to save your time. 
case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list. And then you got your corner shower. I know a lot of people don't like corner showers. Um, for us, it seems to work fine. We fit that? in there just fine. It's not a huge issue. This one has a Thetford. I have noticed that some outdoors RVs are coming with Dometic toilets. So a few variations are going to happen uh, as they switch brands over. Got good storage in here. Now this is the bedroom slide. So it's got part of it in the bathroom. It's got part of it in the bathroom and part of it in the bedroom. When this slide is in, this right here is lined up with here and you can open the bathroom cabinets. The bed, you can also open as long as you don't switch out your mattress. So with the mat, if you change to like a pillow top mattress, you're gonna get a lot more height and these cabinets aren't gonna open with the slide out closed. So if you keep this mattress, you're just fine. So while we're talking about mattresses, is this one, ours is a titanium. This is not the same as ours. Yeah, so I'm not sure about this mattress. I take that back. It looks to be like a pillow top. It's probably okay for a short time, you know, weekend, something like that. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion there. The titaniums, which I'll get into in another video, have a better mattress and that's what we sleep on. We didn't change out from the titanium mattress. And then you got storage under the bed since we're here. Yep, storage under the bed. It's not a whole lot because you have that pass through that's underneath it from the outside. But you can fit some blankets, shoes, whatever. On both sides, you'll have cabinets above and below. They go quite a ways back. On this side, it is narrower. So because of the depth of the slide, they had to go wider here. It is narrow to narrower on the passenger side yeah it does have included solar um i only saw one panel up top so that means it's going to be a 170 watt you can fit a maximum of 510 watts without switching any wiring paneling or wiring controller or anything just add two more panels up top then you got yep because it's a 50 amp service it does have a add-on capability for a second air conditioner in the bedroom. And that's it. The 2024 Outdoors RV Glacier Peak F28 RKS for rear kitchen slide. Um, almost said our model there. Yeah. So if you have an Outdoors RV or if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you on the next video.